Did you have um, problems in high school? Yeah. You know, I felt so different and so crazy that people just left me alone. I always felt that they would vote me most likely to kill everyone at a high school dance, yeah. you know? My mother has always tried to keep a little bit of English culture in our family. Like, we drink tea all the time. We have <laughs> tea, you know? Although I've never really known my my ancestry. I didn't even know until this year that, that the name Cobain was Irish. Uh, I found out through different phone books throughout America. I couldn't find any Cobains at all, so I started calling Coburns. And I found this one lady in San Francisco, and she had been uh, researching our, our family history. And we came from County Cork, which is a weird coincidence, because when we toured, we played in, in Cork. and. The entire day I walked around in a daze. I never felt more spiritual in my life. I was almost in tears the whole day. It was the weirdest thing. I had a really good childhood until the divorce. And all of a sudden my, my whole world changed. I couldn't face some of my friends at school. I desperately wanted to have the classic typical family, mother, father. Because I couldn't find any friends, male friends, yeah. that I felt compatible yeah. with, I ended up hanging out with girls a lot, and I just always felt that they weren't treated with respect, especially because of women are totally oppressed. I mean, the word bitch and c are totally common. Although I listened to Aerosmith and Led Zeppelin, and I really did enjoy some of the melodies that they've written. It took me so many years to realize that it was just, you know, a lot of it had to do with sexism and the way that they just wrote about their and having sex. And I was just starting to understand what really was pissing me off so much. Those last couple of years of high school, and then punk rock was exposed, and, uh, and then it all came together. It just fit together like a puzzle. It expressed the way I felt socially and politically and just everything, you know. It was the anger that I felt, the alienation. Did you have problems with people thinking that you were gay? Yeah. Yeah, I even thought that I was gay. I thought that might be the solution to my problem. Although I never experimented with it. I had a gay friend and then my mother wouldn't allow me to be friends with him anymore because, um, well, she's homophobic. It was real devastating because finally I found a male friend who I actually hugged and mm -hmm. was affectionate to, and, and we talked about a lot of things. So did you stop? Yeah, I couldn't hang out with him anymore. How do you sing? Most of the time I sing right from my stomach, right where my stomach pain is. Doctors, every time I've had an endoscope, they find a red irritation in my stomach. But it's all from anger and screaming. I mean, <laughs> not only is my stomach has an inflamed irritation, but my, I have scoliosis, and the weight of the guitar has made my back grow in this curvature. So it gives me a back pain all the time, you know. I'm always in pain, too, and that really adds to um, the anger in our music it really does. I'm kind of grateful for it in a way. Yay! Maybe you're feeling a bit better. No. Yeah, especially since I've been married and I've had a child, you know, within the last year. My whole mental state and my, my physical state has been just almost improved 100%. It's, I, I haven't felt this optimistic since right before the divorce, you know.
it's okay Shaved your head And I'm not sad And just maybe I'm to blame for all I've heard And I'm not sure I'm so excited I can't wait to meet you there And I don't care